Most of the consistent users of internet have used torrent at some point, whether it be for downloading TV shows, movies or games, which I don't recommend because it is illegal for the most part. We'll talk more about that later, but first let's understand how does it work. To understand torrent, first let's see how does a normal server work whenever you download the file from internet. Usually the file is uploaded on central server by company or file provider and your device connects to the server requesting that file which enables you to download the file. But because the file is saved on one server, so if a lot of users try to download the file at the same time, well you probably would have guessed what it can lead to. Yeah, it can affect your downloading speed significantly. And you don't want to be rushing into these kind of issues, especially for the large files. However, when you download file using torrent, it's totally a different story here. It uses peer-to-peer -peer protocol, so there is no central server here, but rather file is distributed into small pieces to different users at different locations. So everyone who is downloading the file or have completed his download is actually contributing to sharing the file with other users. Usually they are known as seeders. So when the process starts with one seed, downloading speed can be relatively slow. But as it grows more users start to contribute, downloading speed gets significantly higher because it can find files at different locations without putting pressure on one seed. So how does it track users? It all starts with a file that has extension .torrent, which you download from any torrent site. Basically this file includes the information about Tracker. Tracker is a server that keeps track of connected users who are sharing the file. This tracker provides users IP address to torrent client which allows you to connect to them and once it gets connected, it starts to download different pieces of file from different users, preferably who are nearer to you. And once you do have some files downloaded, you can also become a seeder, means you start to upload the file you have, hence becoming a part of Big Swarm. This is why you see this upload option when downloading torrents. There is something else you will see when you start to download the file, seeder and leechers. We've talked briefly about seeders before, they are users that decide to stay connected even after downloading the file to help others in downloading. At least one user have to stay connected who has the full file on his device for the torrent to be downloadable. If there is no seeder, then it won't be possible to download the file. And the user that limit their upload speed which increases their download speed and they stay just long enough to complete the downloading, they are described as leechers. You shouldn't be one of them. So let's talk about the legality of the torrent. We've all heard it before it being illegal. Well, downloading files from torrent itself isn't illegal, but rather it depends on what you're downloading. If it's any type of copyrighted material like TV show, movie or game, only then it becomes illegal. So it can be used legally. Even some companies use it to distribute large files as it does not put strain on their servers. For example, Blizzard uses torrent clients to distribute updates for some of their games as it keeps everyone's downloading speed up and also helps the company because they don't have to spend a lot of money on bandwidth. However, the illegal use of it is far greater. And nowadays users can connect and communicate with each other without needing a central tracker. So even after it being illegal, this makes it really hard for officials to go after people who are using it because it is not just one person who is sharing the file. So they would have to go after a lot of users but it still can happen. Even some people work hard so think before using it. So this is it for this video and see you guys in the next one.